Today, I am going to share an inspiring story of a nature therapist. In medical diagnosis, misdiagnosis and misdiagnosis are two causes of worry. They are costing patients, especially poor and non-affordable. It makes them deprived and dejected. Misdiagnosis means doctor diagnosis for a wrong illness, whereas misdiagnosis means doctor gives a clean bill of health when in fact the patient has an illness. Unless doctor is intuitive and expert, these two diagnostic errors cannot be eliminated. It is not about doctor's education, specializations matter, but it is about how much medical intuitive he or she is. Medical intuitiveness is not a function of your IV degree or a training school or allopathy or homeopathy or Ayurveda, but it is a function of a deep understanding of process, practice and performance. Practitioners should have a deep command over the patient's body, mind and with a deep appreciation towards spirituality. Then that command converts into intuitive capability. Very few practitioners get this kind of recognition. One such person is Lakshmi Kuti, a tribal woman from Kerala who prepares 500 herbal medicines from share memory. Famously known as Vanamuttasi, which means grandmother of a jungle in Malayalam language. She has an ardent command over the natural and traditional medicine. She is famous for her poison healing and she is also a teacher at Kerala Folklore Academy. This 75 years old tribal woman lives in a small hut with a palm leaves roof in a tribal settlement deep in the forest of Kellar in Trenuvananthapuram district. Hundreds of patients trek to the forest to visit this natural doctor who offers herbal treatment for poisoning. Not just giving medicine, but with her gentle and soothing words, she makes patients calm for hours together. This knowledge has been acquired through her mother, who used to work as a midwife, assisting during childbirth. As there is no physical records of her practice, currently Kerala government is planning to compile a book based on her expertise. In fact, to her credit, she is the only tribal girl attended school during 1950s upon her persistence. She used to walk for 10 kilometers every day to attend school and she completed 8th class during those days. Knowing the importance of education, Lakshmi Kuti made her children study well. Lakshmi Kuti is also known for her satirical poems and writings and she has written multiple articles on a tribal culture and tribal settlements and so on. Though she delivers lectures all over the places, received numerous awards, but core of her heart, she wants to live in forests stay in the tribal hamlet. To her dedication and commitment towards nature cure, this unsung hero received Padma Sri in 2018. Lakshmi Kutiji, nation salutes you. Signing off, Dr. Ravi Sarpalli.